Hi, I'm Father Jim Martin. I'm a Jesuit priest and author of The Jesuit Guide to Almost Everything. With the recent historic election of the first Jesuit Pope, Pope Francis, a lot of people are asking about the Jesuits. So here's a little primer about the Jesuits. First of all, what is a Jesuit? A Jesuit is a member of the Catholic religious order, more formally known as the Society of Jesus. It was founded in 1540 by St. Ignatius of Loyola, a former soldier turned mystic. When St. Ignatius was a soldier in 1521, he was injured in a battle in Pamplona, Spain. During his convalescence in his family castle, he read a book on the lives of the saints and the life of Jesus that prompted in him a conversion experience and allowed him to turn his life around, and that ended up with him founding the Society of Jesus. Jesuits were founded, not as a lot of people think, to be the shock troops of the Counter-Reformation, but for something more basic, to help souls. That's pretty broad, and that meant that from the beginning, Jesuits did all sorts of things, from helping the poor, to preaching in parishes, even to running a house in Rome for reformed prostitutes. These days, people may know Jesuits best for the parishes we help out at, retreat houses we run, and especially our educational institutions, our middle schools, high schools, and colleges and universities. Colleges like Georgetown, Fordham, Boston College, and all the schools named Loyola. Jesuit spirituality is based on the life and teachings and writings of St. Ignatius Loyola, especially the spiritual exercises, which is a manual for a four-week retreat in which you imagine yourself in the Gospels following along the life of Jesus Christ. There are a lot of shorthand ways of talking about Jesuit spirituality. One is finding God in all things. That means that God is not just confined to the walls of a church or even prayer or scripture, but that God can be experienced every moment of the day and that every moment of the day is an invitation to meet God, whether in relationships or work or play or nature or music, God can be found everywhere. Another way of looking at Jesuit spirituality is that it's an invitation to be a contemplative in action. Most of us aren't monks and live in monasteries. We live very busy lives. But Ignatius invites us to have a contemplative heart in the midst of our very active lives. To learn more about the traditions, practices, insights, wisdom, and spirituality of the Jesuits, I invite you to check out my book, The Jesuit Guide to Almost Everything. This is Father Jim Martin. God bless you.